and welcome back to Amanda Muse. I'm so pumped. I love Halloween. Everything about Halloween I love. My kids love it. The husband gets in on it. So excited to share with you today's video, which I've teamed up with Value Village and they sponsored this video where we're gonna be putting together our Halloween costumes for the whole family. Now, what's kind of nice about Value Village is that you can go like the brand new costume route or you can piece together your own DIY style costume with all of the things you can find in the store. So today's video is gonna consist of both of those elements because I do have four family members and we all want it to be something different. So a couple things I wanna mention about Value Village that's pretty awesome. The first is that you can head over to their website and they have a store locator. So if you haven't been to the one in your area, you can find out where it is. The other thing worth mentioning is that walking around Value Village are these amazing costume consultants and actually we used one we were there because I needed to find a certain type of makeup so totally worth checking out you will not be disappointed and they are like equipped wouldn't it be awesome if I just like snap my fingers and a helper appeared ah! Whoa, it's amazing what did Jackie want to be for uh, for Halloween Zombie. Zombie, because he's a zombie every day. I looked all over Pinterest actually for zombie costumes for little boys, but zombie costume that's not too scary. So here's what we found. I just found a complete gem. Look at this. It's a, it's in three. He's a three. three it's a tuxedo. Key. It's a tuxedo. It's like little stripes on the legs. Oh, oh my. Actually, I don't even know if I want to destroy this. It's so cute. Yeah, you do. But we're gonna. So, okay, so now all we need is a little like shirt, like a stripey kind of fancy shirt. So we're just gonna get the makeup <laughs> to, uh, to make him look all zombified and I think that's it. Do not shoot me with that zombie gun. All we need is some scissors. So basically we're just roughing up the edges. Um, just so he looks a little bit spooky. We've tattered up the bottom of the pan. Woo! So Esme's put some marker blood over it. Okay, so I found some chalk laying around. I'm gonna get yeah. it. Wanna try? Oh, those are lies. I know, color this. Good. The chalk is working, you guys, so yeah. gray is the way to go. There we go. Jacket all dirtied up. Yeah. Yay! And then a little bit of face paint makeup, white, gray, and uh, green. Yeah, my daughter's going as like a nature princess fairy. Oh, very nice. Yeah. So cute. And this is what I'm thinking. A nice dress, like I think this is probably supposed to be a bride, but a nice dress where we can weave in some of that lighting. Um, yeah, and then like put some of the plants on. It's got flowers like you would find in nature. Ooh, I think that's gonna be a keeper. Went to our local craft shop and we just picked up something that looked like a fern. And then I wanted to piece in some of these nature themes. So we start with the dress hanging and we're gonna start applying some of the, the foliage. I'm hoping to make it look all like greenery at the bottom of the dress, but not too heavy, right? It looks like we're in the Federal Witness Registration <laughs> Program. We're not here. <laughs> So we have all this nature going on at the bottom and it's gonna be lit up. We're gonna be putting some lights in here. You can kind of see how it's gonna be all lit up on the inside. And by the way, this is so typical like late night parenting. The kids are asleep, so we're working on the Halloween costumes. But up here we want it to not look so much like a bride dress and like a princess. <laughs> oh, look at that. Does that look pretty? That is, look at that, that's beautiful. It ties it all together. Look at Boom, that. look at that crew. Look, we can work together. Not really. <laughs> okay, so now we're jumping to the mom and dad costumes. I'm so excited about these costumes. Now these ones are like 95% DIY. Dean and I are gonna be? Garden gnomes. Garden gnomes, it's so cute. I was on the internet trying to find some like matching costumes, but also matching costumes where the DIY wouldn't be terribly hard. For Dean's costume, the big thing with a, like with a boy gnome or a man gnome is blue. They often have like a blue jacket or a blue shirt, so here's what we've got. I found this 
oversized too, uh, but a nice big blue shirt in that like really, really bright blue. I also found a pair of black pants like this, which we're gonna chop, make them a little bit shorter, and a black vest. Here is the belt with the big buckle. Um, oh, and then the new items I got for Dean are these stripy socks. And then I'm also gonna be wearing stripy socks, so it's gonna like kind of bring the costumes both together as like very matchy. And then of course, he needed a wig. So Dean's gonna be wearing, it looks like a Santa wig. It is Santa wig. It's a Santa wig. But it's also gonna be a gnome wig because they have very similar hair. Those They must go to the same barber because... And then, of course, our DIY gnome hats. I'm gonna start cutting up his pants. Um, and I think I'm gonna do like a three-quarter pant here. And there, that was easy. So there's Dean's pants. So really, all we have to do for Daddy is see if my, he doesn't think that this aluminum foil thing's gonna work. I think it will, so let's try it. All right, I think it's gonna work. I think my I think it's gonna work. It's working. Yeah, you're going for effect here, not perfection, right? Yeah, it doesn't have crumbly. No, that's the best we can do. Our little DIY belt buckle, but I mean, easy peasy. My costume is super simple. I scored, and all I have to do is take the tags off. So I'm gonna show you what I got. I needed to have a dress with long sleeves, preferably red all one color, 70s style for sure. The material is a dead giveaway. Then I went hunting for an apron. I seriously scored. What I was looking for was something like this style that would tie around back, um, but I found the kind that actually like goes right around your neck. Got the matching socks, and I stumbled on these Ralph Lauren loafers, like, yeah, okay. And then of course my own, um, wig because you need to have a wig and I wanted to have that white gnome hair. And that's it for my costume. I really don't have to do anything other than put it on. Score. It's good. This is Yeah, it's good. This is Gnome Hat Corner. And I only know this because I looked on the internet and I found out how to do it. This is the prototype. Yeah. How tall is that one? About, 20? Yeah. Uh, yeah, 20 inches. And then we're gonna draw our arc and our arc is only gonna be as long as our head is in circumference. <laughs> it's like a planet. It's like Jupiter. So it contains valuable things. So this is the length here. And I'll just put a little mark. I'm gonna put more because I'm wearing a wig. Just put a little chalk mark on it. Make it a little longer. Can't really see it at all. We need like a pen. And anyway, we'll just remember. Or just cut it. Oh yeah, I guess I could cut it. See? Valuable stuff. Esme, you're awesome, you're awesome. You can take just some uh, cornstarch and water and put it in a spray bottle, spray it all down, and then just iron it. Iron it flat on the board and then open it up and it should be quite stiff. I love how each costume turned out. I can't stop laughing every time I see Dean with that big beard under his chin. It's too much. Anyways, a big thanks to Value Village for sponsoring this video. And from our family to yours, wishing you all a very happy Halloween and have fun making your costumes and let me know what you come up with. Leave me comments below. Bye guys. Oh, the weather's been so bizarre lately. Have you, have you seen our, our, our friend there, the mystical fairy? Come on, no. no. <laughs> She's supposed to bring the nice fall weather. Oh, fairy! Fairy, nature fairy, where are you? Hello. Oh, hey. hello. He's, we were just talking about you because we were walking along and we just said, you know, I hope you don't get attacked by a zombie. Right. Have, you haven't seen any zombies around here, have you? No, not really. Thank goodness there's no zombies anywhere. I'm yeah. scared of zombies. We're so scared. <gasps> oh, Run. no. It's, hey, you lost your hat! <laughs> Get, Get that gnome! Ah.